my manager gave me a copy of uh, Guess Who's Back. And within the first couple of songs, I was like, yo, he's back. At that point in time, I think we had found out that he wasn't signed yet, so, oh, we have a chance to maybe do something with him. Let's, you know, let's try to see what's up. So I think the first time I met 50 was at a release party. Was it in New York? I think it was in New York. I met him, I think we talked in the back room, right? Every song he was doing was so crazy, we couldn't, there was nothing to get rid of. There was nothing that we could even say, oh, that would be cool for a mixtape. I don't know if we really set, set out to create anything. It was more, let's just make the best music that we can make. Patiently Waiting was one of the first beats I sent Fifth, actually. Patiently Waiting, I think, just had the, the cello, the strings on it, and the drums. That's one of the fun things for me to do as a producer is to hear somebody's rhyme and what they've done and then kind of build around that as opposed to building the beat first. I was really into trying to make it cinematic and trying to make it seem like, you know, make it like a movie. Part of it was the respect that I had already had for him as a lyricist, you know, and the fact that to me he could make songs. And I hadn't planned on being on the song yet. You know, I just wanted to hear him do something to it. And then when I heard what he did to it, I was like, oh, maybe I could be on this one, and, you know? And then went and pieced it together later. But I was also trying to let anyone who didn't know the story of what had went on with Fifth, like kind of trying to explain a little bit of that. And like, look, this is what he's been through and this is where he's at now, you know what I'm saying? And this is the next dude, this is the next guy. Yeah, that was the whole thing, was to try to make that song, make it sound official, okay? 50 is officially with us. For me, I can still put it in and, and, and it's still goosebump. 